Allie. Join me as I show you how to create this bracelet featuring six millimeter Potomac pearls. The Buy Tri bracelet will be a simple 11 0 three millimeter pearl and six millimeter bicone combination. If you need any of the materials, go ahead and look below the video in the description. We'll give you a link right there that you can go in and get the exact counts that you need in order to create. Gather up your materials on your bead on it board and let's get started. So to begin, I'm using size eight white dragon thread along with six millimeter Potomac bicones, 11 O's and three millimeter Potomac pearls. We are gonna begin the bracelet working on the triangle here and actually working on the exterior of the triangle. So the first thing we're gonna do is add one of our three millimeter pearls after adding a stop bead to about five feet of thread. The pattern then to follow is one of your 11-0 followed by one of your six millimeter bicones, an 11, a pearl, an 11, and another bicone. We're gonna repeat that one more time. 11, pearl, 11, bicone. We now have three bicones on, and the last thing I'm going to put on here is an 11 OC bead, and we're gonna make it into a triangle. So the 11 OC bead goes on. I take those beads that are already on my strand and I'm gonna sew through that first pearl, starting at the stop bead, not sewing through the stop bead, just starting there, and going through that pearl 11 six millimeter bicone and then bringing my needle and thread through. This creates that first little triangle. From here, we're gonna pull those bicones even closer by adding one 11 O skipping over the seed bead pearl section and sewing into the next available six millimeter bicone. Give a nice tight pull and you'll see that pearl and those seed beads kind of pop towards the outer edge. 11 -0, skip over that next section of three beads into the next bicones and pop that together closer. Once again, 11 -0, skip over and through that bicone. When you do that, it brings the bicones right there into that triangle, hence the bi tri name. From here, we're gonna to get to the outer edge in order to get ready to add our next component on. So our next component is going to be added along the triangle here, and we are going to start with our pearl and basically add to the outside of our bicone. So the next thing we're gonna do is sew through our beads all the way over, until we're coming out through that next bicone bead. Once you're out that next bicone, which is going to be directly across from that stop bead, we're gonna add some seed beads and our next pearl. The next group of beads we're gonna add are one and two 11 O's, followed by one pearl, and then two more 11 O's. The six millimeter bicone that your thread is currently coming out of, go back through that from the opposite direction. So my thread is currently coming out the bottom. I add those five beads and now I take my thread and needle through the top of that bicone. That seed bead and pearl collection is just gonna sit right on the top there. Go ahead and sew through the first two seed beads as well as the pearl. Let your thread exit and tighten it up so you don't see any extra thread remaining. That is our first of many components as we go along and create the bracelet. From here, we're back to our starter where we added one pearl originally, and we're gonna continue adding on more units. After coming out of that pearl bead here, you can see that I've added the same thing that I did to the original collection. 11, six, my grouping of three beads, six, another group of three beads, and then another 11 OC bead. You're gonna come back to that first pearl, the one that your thread is currently coming out of, and sew through the opposite side. Thread coming out the top of that pearl, sew into the bottom of that pearl. Bring that nice and close, and you can see that is your next connection spot. You can also make this stay open by sewing over next to the bicone and just continuing on, not bringing the bicones closer, two different varieties. Instead, after sewing through the pearl, what we are doing is sewing through the 11 and through the next six millimeter bicone. And then we're gonna bring our bicones in closer together. Remember, pick up an 11, 
sew through your next open bicone in line and just the bicone, not any of the seed beads between. Give a nice tight pull and pop those seed beads and purl out. Add an 11 and create that little section where it's bringing that triangle a lot tighter together. Through the next six millimeter, nice tight pull. Sew up through the 11 OC bead. That's after that first one that you just put on. Give a nice tight little yank on your thread, not your needle, always your thread. You wanna make sure that you tighten the thread close to the beads rather than pulling the thread at the eye of the needle. That's really going to weaken your needle no matter what the brand. From here then, grow, go through your next six millimeter bicone. Add one and two 11s, one pearl, one and two 11, and back into the opposite side of the six millimeter bicone that your thread is currently coming out of. We're just gonna continue this pattern the whole way and gaining our length as we enter about 11 of our units here. Once you're done with all of your bicone triangle components here, it's time to add your clasp. You can see this lovely infinity clasp from Clasp Garden. I've been wanting to use this one and it fits really, really well with that pearl look. And I have, after my last bicone, four 11 OC beads and I've gone through the loop on the clasp. I'm then gonna come back down through that fourth 11 OC bead. And then I'm gonna add three more 11 O's and sew back through the bicone. So just like we've been doing when we add the pearl, except this time it's three 11s followed by one 11 that we're gonna share to make that nice diamond here. Back up then through those four C beads on the right hand side. Make sure that you're going through the loop, back down through that same 11 O right after, and then off to the left down through those three. I'm gonna do this one more time, making sure that I have three passes of that size eight dragon thread going through the loop on the clasp, and then we're gonna get ready to tie off our thread. Same thing is gonna happen on the other side. We're gonna remove the 11 O gold C bead, and we are going to add the opposite side of the clasp when we're working on it. With a lot of the push clasps, box clasps, you wanna make sure when you're adding the second side of the clasp that you are lining it up correctly and that the bracelet's not going to twist somewhere in the middle in order for you to put the clasp on. So I tend to just keep the actual trigger or the actual tongue inside the clasp and connect the bracelet to that tongue and I love that snap that they do. So I'm gonna keep it in and do my first pass, making sure that I'm cor correctly attaching to the tongue on the opposite side. On the second end here, kept it nice and short since it's coming out of the pearl rather than coming out of the bicone, since we're sitting in that triangle formation with the bicones. You can see how nice that clasp goes with the look and how easy and simple this design is. An idea as well is to do a necklace you can decorate a little bit on the interior if you want to, but then use a beautiful clasp guarding clasp as the center of the necklace or for a choker for summertime. Can't wait to see all the different varieties of colors that you make and make sure if you make any changes using some 15 O's if you want to. I wanted to keep this one rather large with the sixes and the 11s. For those, I know some people are struggling with 15 O's in vision. So this one here, if you want to, you can add a 15 O in after each pearl here, or you can keep it like we have it here in the by try design. Thanks so much for joining me, and I hope that this bracelet really inspired you and can offer some creative insight into how you can design with very few products that you probably already have on hand. Remember, if you don't have them and want to check out our selection of Potomac Crystal Bicones or Pearls, look below the video in the description. We'll put a link there to get back to the website with the exact colors and everything that you need to create this beautiful design. If you haven't yet, hit that little subscribe button because you don't want to miss anything from us here at Potomac Beads. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned Potomac Beaters for more inspirational videos.